Okay, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for um, letting me to present earlier. Um, originally, I was told that I'm going to have a poster presentation, but unfortunately, it's been lost in LA, so I prepared this presentation last night, so uh, my apology. Um, now, uh, my talk today is um, about the, our systematic review on um, Chinese herbal medicine on uh, for the treatment of, uh, the, uh, of the atopic dermatitis. So atopic uh, uh, dermatitis is um, a chronic inflammatory disease and affecting approximately uh, be be between 15 to 30 percent of adult and in children, uh, in children and two to 10 percent of adults and characterized by itching skin, uh, redness, dryness, and scarring and uh, Vitification. Now, the word atopic come from uh, come from the um, the Greek letters. Um, ato at atopo means uh, ac common, and the uh, um, derma means skin, and you know the uh, dermatitis means inflammation, and or uh, now they we call eczema, and to break or boil. Now the uh, the main symptoms of the uh, atopic eczema is itch, the itchiness and rashes, which uh, leading to the redness after scratch, scratching, and skin uh, causing skin damage, and involved in skin quiz, and also uh, dry skin and ultimately itchification. Now this. Uh, as I said before, this affect uh, mainly in children, not so much in adults, and as the prevalence in over the world, it's uh, the highest uh, place in uh, Oceania, that very high, up to about 30%. Now, atopic dermatitis is affect in, uh, in um, our life, the disfiguration, which leading into affect the um, psychological problems, affect the social life, and the uh, daily uh, activities, and uh, also uh, because of itchy, the eczema usually seems to more manifest during that night, so leading to sleep disturbance and increase the risk of uh, secondary uh, infection as well. Uh, and of course, because the um, uh, problems in the family that uh, create great impact on the family, family members, especially parents and uh, also the, um, the financial burden to the family. The, as the eco economic impact that it um, has, has been estimated in 2011 that uh, it costs in UK 465 million pounds and in here in US it's between 360 million to 3.8 billion dollars direct as a direct cost. And in Australia, with Australia, it's more um, population than we um, estimate on per person, uh, spending between 330 to 100 and uh, 1,255 dollars per year. So, uh, the, um, the as a pathogenesis is many factors contribute to the dermatic, uh, to the atopic dermatitis or the, uh, the atopic eczema, um, one of the factors is the genetic factors and um, leading to um, damage to skin barrier defects and um, dis dysregulation of immune system. Now current management that we uh, mainly identify and to remove all the uh, allergens or the, tr the trigger factors and uh, maintain the skin moist and also we uh, use the pharmacotherapy Unfortunately, uh, um, the um, pharmacotherapy is uh, management, it manages um, the uh, skin very well, but uh, can lead, uh, usually often associate with um, uh, drug in, um, uh, adverse events or drug intolerance. And the patient, therefore, the patient seeking the alternative uh, management of their symptoms, and one of that is the Chinese medicine, uh, Chinese herbal medicine. Now, in Chinese medicine, we look at the, the um, uh, from Chinese medicine, medicine perspective, the, uh, we look at the, uh, um, the uh, uh, eczema differently. And uh, what we call, 
because the Chinese medicine theory uh, talk about the uh, deficiencies and excess. Um, in the case of the, um, this case, the congenital deficiency usually uh, more like uh, we call like a gene in, in Western medicine. And uh, spleen deficiency in here means, it's not doesn't mean the spleen uh, actually spleen organ in the body, but it's more like that, um, allocated to, dedicated to um, uh, digestive system. Now, um, the congenital deficiency can uh, show in the, uh, um, the spleen deficiency and also uh, the deficiency of congenital also that means that the weakness of the body which open to access to the, uh, the acceptability of external pathogenic factors. I just want to make a note that in Chinese medicine, we don't call virus, we don't call bacteria, everything we call pathogenic factors, and there is eight factors in Chinese medicine. And uh, or because invasion from the external pathogenic factors uh, leading to the pathogen loss in the skin, also, as some uh, speakers spoke before about the food allergy in Chinese medicine, and uh, he also mentioned about the uh, accumulation uh, over the time that in Chinese medicine, what we call improper, improper diet. That means that irregular eating, uh, eating wrong food, for example, eating a lot of um, uh, greasy food. Uh, in Chinese medicine, uh, we call heating food, like, um, uh, uh, like uh, deep fry, uh, food like uh, fish and chips and sort of things. And that also can lead into the uh, spleen deficiency and also uh, generate a lot of dampness. What we, we, if I'm sure that you heard a few terms for a few speakers before, the damp heat, damp and dampness which causing the, uh, the, the um, um, skin inflammation. And also in uh, Chinese medicine, also taking the factors of the stress of the uh, emotional disturbance or the stress, and all generate by the wind. Wind and heat. Wind means, in Chinese medicine, wind means that the itchy, itchiness, and the heat is causing the skin inflammation. That's why when we manage the, uh, uh, the uh, skin allergy or skin conditions, we, especially eczema, we usually put a cold compress on and it helps. And also that is uh, the another factor also what we call yin deficiency or blood deficiency. That means that in our body we got yin and yang. Yin uh, represent the cold and uh, yang represent the heat and, and so on. So in this case, if the yin deficiency and blood deficiency also can cause the dryness and the leading to the itchiness. Okay, so our project, this project is made, is a part of one of our, our project for uh, investigate, to, in, to evaluate the, um, uh, the uh, effectiveness of the, uh, the cli clinical trial to look into the system, to, in, into the, to s evaluate whether it's effective or not. Uh, th the reason being because of the from uh, public perception that the Chinese medicine is, um, is the, uh, natural and is uh, totally safe and effective, and but um, th that therefore we having having a look at the clinical trial uh, to see how it is. So we search all the we search all the data all the, uh, the database, so the Cochrane Library and we also have the Embase Progress and all, and so on. We use the uh, we use protocol uh, from the. Uh, Cochrane Systematic Reviews, Cochrane Handbook. And these are the, all the search terms that we use, like for example, uh, randomized control trial and publication type. And we put, uh, we got uh, so many hits uh, in it, uh, all different hits. And um, um, the inclusion criteria, we uh, have a look at all the, um, the articles published in English, Chinese, Japanese, and French all the randomized control clinical trial can be included, all the validated diagnostic uh, uh, criteria of the uh, atopic dermatitis use, and uh, also mainly for the children. And uh, we only have a look at the oral administrated, uh, administrated uh, Chinese herbal medicine 
uh, compared to uh, placebo or compared to Chinese um, Chinese herbal medicine plus Western medicine or Western medicine alone, and also uh, the all, only the trial that is a validated um, outcome measure instruments. In exclusion exclusion criteria, we exclude all the uh, the articles that uh, in, uh, combine with other therapy additional to oral therapy. For example, if they use Chinese herbal medicine together with home homeopathy or other methods or the other therapy. Um, also, if the, the, um, the uh, trial that hasn't got the other therapy con control group, if, if other therapy, be, the control group is using the Chinese herbal medicine, we don't uh, take into consideration. And um, if they don't have the final score outcome, we also exclude it. As a result, we, uh, uh, we found 1,000 um, or 10,000, uh, 1,014 articles. After checking the double uh, loop duplicate, to, we exclude uh, 829 out, and we end up with uh, we end up with 281 try, and but then we have to uh, scan again and assess again the exclusion and inclusion criteria. And we end up with only seven articles that in, uh, that uh, uh, fit into our uh, uh, inclusion criteria for for the uh, qualitative uh, uh, qualitative analysis, and only six clinical trials for the um, for the um, meta analysis. Now, as you can see in here, this all the seven uh, uh, seven um, trials that we we use, and uh, therefore. Uh, there is the, the out of that is three to try out of the same w medicine, which is the uh, uh, which is the um, uh, the semaphite. Those three um, uh, some of those those three tries one try has been done in England uh, and shows it's been uh, effective. But when it, they use the same um, the same medicine again and try in Hong Kong and find out that it's not effective, and ultimately those. One of those, uh, this this uh, medicine has been taken out of the market, and the other one, the best one, is the Xiaofeng Sang, which is um, done in um, in um, in Taiwan, and and the other one is the pentavite herbs also. So we're looking at all oh, the Cheng uh, clinical trial, which is a Xiaofeng San. Xiaofeng San that means that you know, clear the wind. And and the, all the, the the only the trial that got all the low risk of the of the bias in the when we do the risk of bias analysis, and every trial they got high risk uh, in in some domain and only the one um, one um, clinical trial that uh, have a low risk of all domain. And in the meta analysis, we can see that they all favored that showing that the Chinese herbal medicine. Um, all the formulas are effective. Um, the, as a safety concern, that it's some uh, clinical trial um, report um, adverse ev events that one re uh, reported. However, uh, there is no signi uh, significant difference between the control and the treatment group. So, in the, um, the meta analysis showing that. Um, uh, there is the uh, there is only two to so all the analysis in favor of Chinese medicine and it is in two studies and it's no longer produced which is a semaphite that I said before the same intervention was used in Fung study and did not yield the same positive result that I'm also I'm talking about the semaphite as far as the risk of bias only one study has a low risk of the the Cheng study, as I said before, about the Xiaofeng Sang, which con conducted in uh, Taiwan. And uh, all the other six studies has unclear or high risk bias, uh, making overall quality of the studies quite poor. So um, the, uh, the Xiaofeng Sang study had low risk bias, but the obtained a significant improvement in for the disease. But unfortunately, uh, this uh, formula hit very high dose and much higher high dose than 
recommend it. So, uh, so uh, in conclusion, that the oral administered Chinese herbal medicine, medicine seems um, have a potential uh, potential uh, in the management of uh, um, atopic eczema um, and very well uh, and well toler tolerated. Um, however, the data need to interpret very cautiously and need more clinical trial uh, to conduct. And this paper has been um, published in JIID, and I received many, many um, comments and inquiring about uh, this one. And thank you very much. I'm excited uh, to hear about the herbs that treated uh, AD in Australia. Right? So uh, my question, uh, in your opinion, and uh, when you treat the patients in Australia, compare with the external application, which is better? I mean, oral, oral method or the ex, uh, external application method, which is better for? No, we haven't done the study. Um, no. Actually, we doing study systematic review on the external um, application right now, but we didn't do uh, the review on uh, on comparing the external and uh, oral administrated. But I'm sure that in Chinese medicine we always use in combinations. Yeah, my well, my uh, my clinical experience shows that external is pretty good and very fast. So I think combined will be a better. I agree with you because uh, external always a bit faster. But for to take for long term, for long term effect, I always consider the um, the uh, oral. Uh, ed uh, or medication, but of course, if in combination would be uh, much better because quicker healing and also maintain for a long time. Of course, that we don't forget um, the directory um, monitoring during the treatment yeah. and you. after, of course. Thank you. Yeah.